That's what it do. Dark Mars all on me on just sense. Hey, what it do? Hey, what Rockstar, my swag on just sense. Hey, what it do? Everything is out of gun, just sense. Gold all of my neck on just sense. What's up, everybody? It's your boy M3 Ferd back with another vlog. Um, right now, we in the, you see the red seats, so you know where I'm at. I'm inside the Beamer, of course. Um, you see, it's obviously not done. I still got parts back there and stuff like that. But hopefully, as COVID lets up and stuff like that, and the city opens back up little by little, we get more work done. But anyway, I figured today would be a good day. It's beautiful outside. Nice sunny day. It's kind of warm today, but. I figured, why not I introduce you guys to my new dad? I know my name is M3 First and everything like that, but I really like this car, I'm not gonna lie. It's just giving me a lot of issues right now. As you can see, boom, not the, not the 63, that's not mine. The 500 is though. It looks a little slammed, don't it? Yeah, it's slammed. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown on the car. I actually had it for a little while now. It was running, but um, I have to fix some things on it. I'm gonna get into that. But I just wanna show you guys it real quick. Nice black. The paint is pretty clean on it. I'm not gonna lie, it's a good paint job on it. Only issues I really have with the body is I have this hole right here in the front bumper, but I'm gonna upgrade that bumper probably to a 55 bumper or a 63. And then I have this bent rim right here, but I ain't really too worried about that. Um, because I'm gonna change the rules on this anyway. So, interior is all pretty good. Uh, that's the control over there for my airbags. But it's, it's pretty, it's in good condition. We got to clean back here, as you can see. It's a little dirty right there. But other than that, it's beautiful. I love it, I'm not gonna lie. Um. I mean, I have this little thing hanging, but I do plan on changing this and making this completely black. So this is going to get changed. Um, other than that, everything else is here is like intact. Everything works. Um, at one point, I was driving the car around a little bit. Um, the stock, the stock airbags on it had went bad. The right, I believe that was the right. Was it the passenger? Was it the rear? Well, one of the one of the bags went bad and it was leaning. Every time I parked it, the car just got real, real low. So I upgraded to AirTech, um, AirTech airbag suspension. I was being cheap and I got stage one, which if you know about AirTech stage one, um, it comes with like little switches or whatever. So we couldn't find some place in the bench to put the switches. So we upgraded the remote to stage two, which is this right here. But the reason why the car is sitting is because now that control isn't working. So I went and I ordered a new one to switch it to see what's up with that. Hopefully when I switch it, it starts working and things like that. But ironically, one night uh, I had the car, the car was running because they didn't want the battery to die and the front radiator hose bust. So now I have a uh, front radiator hose is broken. And I also have airbags on my bends, but it wasn't wooden raised. It wouldn't raise, excuse me. So, uh, I'm gonna see if I can figure that out today. Um, as you guys see, I got the other control right here. I'm gonna see if I can install that. Um, my airbag was actually installed by Two Stroke Chris. He actually did a pretty good job with that. So the car itself is pretty clean. It got this cool carbon fiber fit on it. Give this nice cool touch. This, this car is like real clean. I'm real satisfied with this. I'm happy I got this. Oh, shit, it's locked. So since my battery is dead, I gotta use the actual key to get in my trunk. Cause it's locked. Oh, this is actually the air gauges for the airbags. I actually never installed it because I do plan on upgrading this to uh what is it? to airlift, to airlift management. The one that comes with the Bluetooth and stuff. Oh my God. So, here we have it. We got my air tank. We got my compressor. I only have one compressor because like I said, I was being cheap. So I only bought one compressor. I was being real cheap. Uh, so there goes the whole setup and everything like that. Yes. Let me see if I can 
So we have this right here so I can get the water out so it won't freeze up in there, nothing like that. I am gonna get another compressor, but I'm gonna do all of that once I upgrade to the uh, airlift perform. So I'm gonna see if I change the control. Hopefully that helps the situation and that looks like it could be it right here. Yup, that's definitely me. guys so i got the bench started for y'all whatever the case is it still won't go up as you can see so I'm trying to figure out what that issue is hopefully when i change the remote it'll fix i get a couple of few warning signs here and there but right now i was saying that because the battery is actually extremely low and the car is extremely low so uh, let me show you guys the motor key chain expanded the hose came off. I shouldn't have the car running, but it's still real, real cold because it was just sitting there. So I'm going to change all of that. But other than that, the car is actually pretty in good condition. Besides the stupid remote control that won't air up and down. Like, this is annoying. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is working. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, guys, I'm actually a little excited because when I first started this video, my car actually been sitting down here for like a week because it wouldn't air up and then because of that uh, cooling issue. But the biggest issue we was really worried about was the fact that the car wouldn't air back up because they put it, they reparked it in the backyard, we dropped it, and after that, it wouldn't air up. Just now, as I was showing you guys that my car wasn't airing up, I don't know what happened, but it aired up just now. I really don't know what the issue is. I didn't even really do nothing, but... I don't care, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, I guess the only issue I have to fix on my car is the coolant. And yeah, it is up now, but shit. <laughs> Look at that. So this is how it looks on the belly. Slammed. Oh man, I love this shit. This shit is so beautiful, I'm so hype. I can't believe this shit, this shit was not working. My car was sitting here for like a good two weeks because we thought it wanted to air up. I don't know what happened. Look at this 63 though. Same year as my 500, just a bigger motor. Wouldn't you like your driveway to look like this? A 63, then a 500 right behind it. Fun fact, the person I bought the 500 from went and upgraded and got this. Look at that. I can't even believe I got a Benz. Like, this is crazy. Like, I never in my life, I always love Benz. Now I got a Benz. Like, I love it. E500, I'm not gonna lie. I love the e I love it. Um, I actually found out what the issue was with the uh, with the control. There's a switch on the bottom of it. I guess it's an on and off switch. I'm not even sure because there's no directions on it, nothing like that. But when I switched it, I guess that probably made the remote come on or whatever, and then they aired back up. So there we go. I thought it was a bigger issue than that. Thank God there's something minor. But um, don't forget, hit that like, subscribe, hit that bell so you get a notification if I drop a video, and stay tuned.